the question I had was uh, anyone in, in California familiar with these laws have a better suggestion for just an all around kind of home defense carbine. And then related to that, ammunition preferences for home defense CQB type stuff. So I'm not extremely well versed. I'm semi well versed on the um, unfree America state uh, regulations when it comes to especially AR platforms. But uh, for home defense, man, I've told this to people before, I've got an AR and nine, and it feeds lock mm. magazines. So I feel real good about that is to, you know, mitigate any kind of collateral damage. The collateral damage for me isn't necessarily within the confines of my home. I'm worried about from in, out, and on the street, cars, neighbors, kids, that kind of shit. Right. Um, so I feel real good about that one. What's the company that there's a, there's several companies now that make ARs and nine and that they feed Glock magazines. I mean, some of them require that you buy their magazines, but why? Why replicate that shit when there are other companies that make, um, you know, ARs and nine that feed Glock magazines? For I mean, if you're using like nine millimeter full metal jacket, for example, that's got some pretty good, like that'll go through a couple walls, right? And so will hollow point. So do you Yeah, but don't miss. Don't, no, no, right. no, not friends. But number one, don't miss, right? So proper shop placement. But, you know, you could use like a, hollow point 147 plus p type of stuff <clears throat> as opposed to 115 grain fmj got it yep uh, because then you know you're once again taking another step to mitigate collateral damage and to inflict more damage on the freaking douchebag who intends you harm look at some of my uh blocks of instruction too on um you know home invasion right you have to be able to discern and discriminate discern and discriminate so you got to have a light on that thing because uh, too many times it's been wrong place, wrong time. You know, a lot of freaking home invasions are just crackheads looking for just a smash and grab. They're looking for prescription meds or cash laying on a table or a freaking sandwich in your refrigerator. And you do not have authority to kill them because they are unarmed. Or it's that freaking kid, that 16-year-old kid who opens your door accidentally thinking that you are his neighbor and that he's supposed to go to his neighbor's house or well, Bob, I had a, year old drunk guy. I, or I had a buddy of mine who was um, a cop in California. He here smashed his dogs barking downstairs. He runs down, comes into the kitchen, ready to freaking burn him down. It's his neighbor, butt ass naked sleepwalking on Ambien. So discern, discriminate real important. Just make sure you have a good light on that thing too. But uh, I would try to find one in nine because to me, it's a real number one, the ergonomics are the same, right? So it's going to operate the same as an AR. So the ergonomics and everything are exactly the same. So it's easy to use and they're making them more and more. So they're, they're very reliable now. And then you don't have to worry about, you know, and it, it, there's so much shit that goes on with, and people say, Oh, should you get suppressed? Yeah. It goes suppressed in your house. I'm like, no, man, I want, if I'm having a shootout, I want my neighbors to hear hear that shit because my neighbors are badass man i want them to come to run the rescue in case there's freaking five dudes because i can handle four right now five i'm not sure <laughs> just saying right. fair <laughs> enough and get, and get the cool nods like max got. Right. yeah yeah oh, yeah yeah that, that way you could be a creature in the night you know too and <laughs> <laughs> oh shit like Yep. Yes. Matt, I mean, the Rangers own the night, but I'll tear off a small piece from time to time. <laughs> and make sure it's a high point. 